The Volkswagen Amarok has changed little since we last compared dual cab utes 12 months ago. In fact, it hasn't really changed at all since its launch back in 2010. But that's not unusual for a light commercial vehicle and in the case of the Amarok, there's really no reason to change. The Amarok on test matches its rivals on price yet feels more premium inside and is more SUV-like to drive. Like the Navara, the Amarok features a twin turbocharged diesel engine. It's matched to the only 8-speed auto in its class, but unlike the others, offers permanent all-wheel drive in place of a switchable 2-high, 4-high, 4-low transfer arrangement. The Amarok falls short on towing capacity at 3,000 kilos and has off-road geometry level with the Ranger and D-Max. It also matches the Isuzu's half-metre weighting depth. But the Amarok does score points for its classy, easy-to-use tech and its generous after-sales support. The VW offers the second longest warranty of any ute on test and includes three years roadside assistance as part of the deal. The Volkswagen Amarok impressed with its car-like drivability and cabin refinement. Its 8-speed automatic felt well matched to the low-capacity twin-turbo diesel engine while communication to the driver was noted as excellent. The Amarok was smooth when towing but required revs to motivate our 2200 kilo caravan properly, while off-road the Volkswagen's rear diff lock and clever electronics mask deficiencies in low-speed gearing and throttle modulation. Our testers did, however, find the feel of the brake pedal less than impressive and said the placement of accessory power outlets was mismatched for the vehicle's purpose and this in spite of one of the best gatherings of interior equipment on test. On the plus side, the Amarok's tray was the only one here to take a full-size Australian pallet between its wheel arches and offered an adequate number of tie-down points for most users' needs.